Question number one, political machines were A, dependent on a working class, often immigrant support, B, associated with corruption in the spoil system, C, prevalent in large cities, or D, all of the above. Question two, this person was the notorious leader of Tammany Hall that was exposed by political cartoonist Thomas Nast. A, Benjamin Harrison, B, William McKinley, C, William M. Tweed, or D, William Jennings Bryan. Question three, a what is, an official, is when an official awards a government contract to a business in exchange for a portion of the profits? Is that a kickback, sidekick, patronage, or all of the above? Question four, Rutherford B. Haves reformed which system by requiring appointees be qualified for the position? Is that the merit system, the spoil system, the tariff system, or the earmark system? Question five, the assassination of James Garfield led to the presidency of Chester A. Arthur, who surprisingly reformed government by passing which act, which created a commission to ensure federal appointments would be based on merit? Is that the Chinese Exclusion Act, the Interstate Commerce Act, the Pendleton Act, or the Sherman Act? Question number six, who supported taxes on imports known as tariffs? Was that protectionists or free traders? Question seven, populism emerged from the fight against government policies favoring who over farmers? Was that foreign countries, railroads, muckrakers, or imperialism? Question eight, Granger laws were challenged in Supreme Court cases Munn versus Oregon and Wabash Railway, leading to the passage of which act which established the federal government's authority to regulate private business. Was that the Clayton Antitrust Act, the Sherman Antitrust Act, the Interstate Commerce Act, or the Pendleton Act? Question nine, farmers opposed the gold standard because they wanted the value of the dollar to go down, known as what? Inflation, deflation, commerce, or lynching. Question 10, farmers and other rural Americans formed which party to fight against the railroad companies? Is it the Socialist Party, the Progressive Party, the Bull Moose Party, or the Populist Party? Question 11, moving speeches like the cross of gold speech delivered by who showed that a third party could be important because they could influence the national debate. Was that Eugene V. Debs, William Jennings Bryan, Woodrow Wilson, or Ross Perot? Question 12, Karl Marx wrote the working class proletariat would someday rise up and overthrow the business owning bourgeoisie in his book, what? Was it called the Communist Manifesto, the jungle, the portrait of a lady, or the souls of black folk? Question 13, private ownership of business is what type of economy? Is that communism, socialism, capitalism or pragmatism? Question 14, most businesses are owned by private individuals subject to heavy government regulation in communism, socialism, capitalism, or pragmatism. Question 15, single party rule where the government owns the businesses is communism, 
socialism, capitalism, or pragmatism. Question 16, Thomas Edison's improvement to what changed the, the world forever? Was it the light bulb, the automobile, the steel industry, or railroad? Question 17, what amendment to the Constitution allows for incomes to be taxed? Is it the 15th Amendment, the 16th Amendment, the 17th Amendment, or the 18th Amendment? Question 18, the Salvation Army came from the idea that religious organizations should work to improve society, known as what? Is that progressivism, communism, the social gospel, or socialism? Question 19, this person was a Rockford College graduate and founder of a settlement house in Chicago called Hall House. Was that Susan B. Anthony, Jane Adams, Ida Tarbell, or Eugene Debs? Question 20. In the early 1900s, colleges and universities began emphasizing this, a practical approach to problem solving. Is that pragmatism, socialism, capitalism, or communism? Question 21, like Ida Tarbell, or these people like Ida Tarbell exposed issues they felt were important, like the unfair business practices of John D. Rockefeller. Were those people called muckrakers, capitalists, socialists, or communists? Question 22, Upton Sinclair wrote about the unsanitary conditions of Chicago slaughterhouses in his book, The Jungle, which eventually led to the passage of which act? Is that the Mann Act, the Pure Food and Drug Act, the Affordable Care Act, or the Pendleton Act? Question 23, progressive governors like Wisconsin's Robert LaFollette passed many democratic reforms, allowing, including allowing voters, not party officials, to decide each party's candidate for office, known as this. Is that a referendum, initiative, indirect primary, or direct primary? Question 24, progressive legislation, including this, which allows citizens to vote on legislation such as tax increases to help fund schools. Is that an initiative, a referendum, a direct primary, or indirect primary? Question 25, progressive legislation from 1870 to 1920 that protected workers included this. Was it Medicare, welfare, social security, or child labor laws? Question 26, this person believed equality could be achieved for African Americans and founded the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama while this person argued that African Americans needed suffrage and political equality leading to the creation of the NAACP. Was that Booker T. Washington and W.E.B. Du Bois or W.E.B. Du Bois and Booker T. Washington? Question 27, this person was known as the trust buster who promised Americans a square deal tripled the size of national forests, and passed the Antiquities Act. Was that Woodrow Wilson, William Howard Taft, Rutherford B. Hayes, or Theodore Roosevelt? Question 28, John D. Rockefeller was king of which industry? Was that railroad, steel, oil, or automobile? Question 29, the Supreme Court declared segregation legal in which case? Was that Plessy versus Ferguson, Munn versus Illinois, 
Brown versus Board of Education, or Holden versus Hardy. Question 30, Andrew Carnegie dominated this industry. Was that railroad, steel, oil, or automobile? For the essay part, you need to pick one of the following prompts to respond to. You must include three specific examples and at least five sentences. Pick one of these questions. Question one, what were the pros and cons of the Industrial Revolution for America during the Gilded Age? For question two, some historians argue the Gilded Age was an era of political corruption. Other historians suggest the Gilded Age was an era of government reform. Choose one claim and support your response with three examples.